Hey guys, so happy Wednesday. So this morning, it snowed like a few flakes here in Texas. And um, if you're new to my channel, I am from the Midwest, so I'm used to a lot of snow. Well, this morning, um, I'm from Indiana. So this morning, it snowed a little bit in Texas, and um, they literally had a two hour delay for school. <laughs> I don't make fun of any southern people or like anybody that doesn't get a lot of snow. I get it if you're not used to it, whatever. I just think it's hilarious because I used to literally work 45 minutes from home and it would take me like three hours in the winter to drive there because of the horrible weather. But like we didn't cancel nothing. You had to be there and on time. So yeah, I thought that was hilarious. But anyway, it's just raining now. I'm going to go into work and get going on this day. Wednesdays are pretty busy, so let's go. Okay, so we went home for lunch. I ate some almonds on this side I wasn't really very hungry um, but I had some almonds and then I had I'm drinking the it's um, one of those IQ juices that I talked about in another vlog it is the <laughs> detox one it has beet passion fruit apple and lemon and uh, pomegranate it's really good so yeah that's what I had and those actually fill me up quite a bit too and like I said I wasn't very hungry today I've been counting calories as well just because I was curious to see how many calories I eat in a day and all that kind of stuff. So I've been counting it or counting them with the MyFitnessPal app. And I've been like way, I'm not really eating very many calories. Honestly, I haven't been eating much. And I know that a lot of it's from not eating the normal things like my snacks. I've just been eating because we're still on the fast. We're still on our 21 day fast. So I haven't been having like junk food or anything like that trying to eat really clean but um, I haven't really been eating that many calories and today it's very unusual for me but I'm not very hungry and the whole beginning of the fast I was literally actually up until like yesterday or maybe even today I was really hungry like a lot I'm hungry often I usually eat small snacks and small meals regularly but I'm hungry a lot today I'm really not even hungry so I just listen to my body and can eat when I'm hungry but I'm gonna drink this and I had some almonds so that should be good those actually fill me up quite a bit but it's Wednesdays we have youth tonight so we're gonna go in and put some stuff in the computer for that and do all of that <laughs> it's pouring outside All right, so we're in the youth room right now. And we have to put the stuff in the computer, my points and everything for my sermon tonight, and everything like that. So we have some videos we're gonna put in there. So yeah, gotta get some work done. It is two o'clock, 2.12. We leave at three on Wednesdays and come back. So gotta get this stuff done. Because I'm the one struggling, okay? 
So what I love about this is this last line that says, we don't know what to do, but we're looking at you to help us. You don't have to know it all, okay? Joseph had to know what was coming, but he was still looking, looking to God. So first of all, we're going to pause. Jehoshaphat was choosing faith, somebody say faith, over fear. Okay? He was probably terrified, but he chose courage and boldness. Okay? Jehoshaphat heard a fight was coming, right? So who did he go to first? He didn't go to like, I, I bet, let me see. Did he get on Instagram and he just like starts like calling people out on Instagram over this fight? No, I don't think so. Did he get in the comments and he just like starts talking trash to everybody? I don't think so. Okay? Um, Jehoshaphat had this issue, and instead of running around telling the whole world, he went directly to God. Okay, so that brings us to our first point. It's going to be on the screen. And it is, prayer is not a last resort, but it's a first response. Godly people who want to pray over us. No, but even if we're not, right? even if that's not our life right now, God, we know that you're there. We know that you've got our six, you've got our back. That even the things that we don't see, you're protecting us from. Oh, good morning. So I'm at work right now. Have some coffee here. Um, I got up this morning to make my coffee and the milk had gone bad, which is really annoying because it wasn't actually supposed to go bad for like a few more days. And I don't know, our milk's just been going bad early, significantly earlier than it should be. So I had cashew milk in the fridge and um, so I decided to make my, my latte this morning with cashew milk because I'd already like loaded up the latte machine and all of that, but I didn't have the milk. So I did it with cashew milk. And it's okay. I really want to try like oat milk too, which is how I made that. I hear a lot of good things about oat milk. Cashew milk is okay. This one is unsweetened cashew milk, and I don't know if they have like a sweetened version. Um, I don't, you know, have my coffee like super sweet or anything anyway, but I feel like if it did have... Like if I was gonna have almond milk, it'd have to be like the sweetened almond milk. So I feel like maybe it's the same thing with this, uh, with the cashew milk, because I did put a little bit of sugar and it um, it helped th with the flavor of it. I never put sugar in my coffee. I um, like just don't, just don't like to like add sugar to coffee like that. I just, I don't know. I, don't, I like to really taste the coffee and all that kind of stuff. I do like flavors, obviously, you know, different flavors of coffee in different syrups and things, but I don't add sugar beyond what's already in either the syrup or creamer or whatever I'm using. I don't actually put sugar in. But with this one, I put just a little pack because um, I was just the cashew milk and just a really weird aftertaste is the only thing that I don't like, but it's not like horrible or anything. So I use that. Um, we also always, a lot of the time, we get lactose-free milk and that lasts a lot longer. It like will last for months, you know, so I don't know why that makes such a big difference, but um, but yeah, the regular milk we've been getting has just been going bad really fast, so that's, I mean, not really fast, but earlier than what I feel like it should. I remember when growing up, I used to like basically, we would use milk even past the day as long as like it was fine, and it would actually stay fine for like at least like a day or two, not like go bad early, so I don't know. So anyway, yeah, we're just hanging out at work. We're working on a graphic for this weekend, trying to find something for that. I slept in today. Um, I it was just, I slept way too late today. I didn't go to bed at the time I wanted to and all that. So I just threw my hair up. It's the last day of the week, and I just like was not. I was just tired, and last day of the week for me. Thursday is like Friday for me because we're off on Fridays. So last night was really good. We had youth and we have been in a series called bangers where we're going into like worship bangers like popular worship songs that are really good and going through the songs and kind of like um going individually through like verses and the chorus and everything kind of getting biblical context to the things that we sing and it was really good yesterday we did uh, fight my battles surrounded whichever title you want to call it and it went really really well and they're just really receptive and a great group of kids um not really kids i mean they're a lot of them are, you know, they're young adults or whatever, but great group of teenagers. Um, and we have a lot of fun in there. We played a fun game and it was so fun. I love doing that. I had missed being involved in a youth group. It had been the first time when we came here. It was the first time that I wasn't like involved in youth since I was started in youth. And I started in youth when I was like 11. 
So I never had a break from being involved with a youth group all of that time because I just love it. I always want to be involved. And so now getting to actually, um, you know, not just serve as like a youth leader, but to literally be their youth pastor right now, it's been really such an honor and it's been so fun. It's a lot of work, you know, balancing worship, pastoring, tech stuff, and um, youth pastoring. Because I want to pour into the kids and, you know, all of that um, on a deeper level than just on Wednesdays. And, and I try to do that. And it takes a lot of work, you know, throughout the week just preparing. But it's so fun. And it's like, I love it. I had so much fun with it. I, um, like, can't imagine not doing it now. So I'm loving it. And I've always loved youth ministry. I've always served in youth ministry. I was taught by some great youth pastors. And so I just, um, it's a really big honor to be able to do it. So yeah, we only have a few more days of our fast. Um, I have lost seven pounds. I weighed myself this morning. I don't weigh myself very often just because I don't feel like there's a need to. I just kind of go by the way that I feel and stuff like that. But I had weighed myself on this fast because I kind of wanted to see out of curiosity what the difference would be. And so, yeah, I've lost seven pounds. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so I'm home. I'm just jumping on. Um, I've been home for a long time. It's like almost nine, I think, maybe nine. But I'm about to edit the vlog, so I'm going to jump on and end it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go snuggling for the rest of the night, and I get to maybe sleep in a little bit in the morning. But um, thank you for watching. Remember, you're incredible. Jesus loves you, and I'll see you next time.